Now, very often we are joined by very cute, beautiful <laughs> dogs here in the breakfast studio, but this is a first. This incredible creation is, of course, Joey, the hero of the book turned stage show War Horse. It's already been seen by more than 8 million people right around the world. It's now about, about to start a new UK tour. <laughs> Joey's going to stay with us while we talk to Sir Michael Morpurgo, who wrote the book and joins us now. Good morning to you. Lovely to be here again. That's With wonderful. He's... One of the greatest characters in literature. Yeah, he's, he's worrying my shoulder, this horse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you ever imagine that when you wrote this down for the first time, you might end up talking about a huge tour? No, I mean, you don't. I think you just tell a story. Um, I mean, I'm, I was a teacher years ago, and actually what you're doing when you're telling a story is trying to get the audience deeply engaged. I've done it for 35 years, sixes, in a school. And that's what I'm doing when I'm writing. I'm just writing to try and engage with the people who are out there. But I forget about them and just tell the story. And in, uh, in Joey's case, I told it in the first person, so I became the horse. So it's, you don't imagine anything like this is ever going to happen. That's for sure. When it was proposed to you that this is how Joey would be yeah. Portrayed on yeah. stage and the other horses. Did you think it was the craziest idea? Yeah, stupid, really stupid. Did you? Yeah, of course. I mean, listen, I was told by this wonderful man, Tom Morris, whose idea it really was to bring this to the stage. He'd read the book, or his mum had read the book and told him he should read the book. And, and suddenly there was this horse, and I thought, well, you know, it's a pantomime. A horse is always a pantomime horse. Uh, Joey, will you stop interrupting? I'm talking. <laughs> I'm, I'm on national television and you're not supposed to take the floor yet. I'm talking. Yes, yes. Yeah. Anyway, the whole point of the thing really was that I thought it was ridiculous until they showed me the work of handspring puppets. Um, and it was quite extraordinary because I've seen horses before and they don't make you cry, they don't make you emotional, but you sort of see three people becoming a horse and in the circumstances of this story, and it's, it's just remarkable. Hello, Joey. Hey, do you remember me? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Yes, yes, yes. No, don't talk. I'm the talker here. Yeah. <laughs> it's astonishing as well, as you said, though, you... Because I've seen the show, and you forget about the craft of the puppeteers. Yeah. You just believe that it is a horse. You don't see the puppeteers. Yeah. That's what's remarkable about it all. You lose... You suspend disbelief totally, which is a, what a child does when a child's reading. You just lose yourself completely in it. And once done, once that transformation has taken place, it's this, this creature um, becomes real in your eyes, and the situation he is in, the time of the First World War and the terrible things that went on, and all those relationships that happened during the war, and the loss and the grief, and the longing, and somehow you see it all through the horse's eyes. I don't, I'm not sure how it happens. I'm not a theatre maker, and I don't really want to understand it too much, because I think then you, you won't suspend disbelief. I can't analyse it. All I know is it's working. As I'm talking now, and I'm rubbing my fingers against Joey's nose, I, I believe it, you know? That's the, the truth of it. I don't want to know why. You say that... Um... Uh, you know, horses previously maybe didn't make you emotional, didn't make you cry, mm. but Joey does. He does, and I think he makes quite a few of those million people who've seen it. I think it, it, it hits you here. It's because of the subject matter, and, and, and actually even more now, the situation we're in throughout the world. I speak of no particular war, but just all wars. And he, he, we've taken this show, National Theatre of Lesser Hearts, have taken this show all around the world. I've seen it in Berlin, I've seen it in Australia. Um, I've seen it sort of pretty well everywhere. And it's universal. Why? Because we all do this crazy thing. We go mad and we fight wars, and it's happened over generations and generations. And in a way, this, this, this horse is a symbol of uh, humanity and reconciliation. That's what the story is about. It is about people coming together and not fighting wars, really. Am I right in saying when you first released it as a hardback, it wasn't particularly successful? It wasn't successful at all, no. I mean, I've been generous. <laughs> uh, no, no, absolutely. No, it, um, I think it sold something like 700 copies yeah. and then went very, very quiet. It was supposed to win a prize called the Whitbread Prize, but some other person won it, and I've never forgiven him. Oh. Um, but it's one of those things that... The, the book didn't work. It got into paperback just about. Mm. And then you have to get lucky. And Tom Morris's mother picked up a copy of the paperback, read it, told her son, look, you were looking for a story. 
to put on the stage um, with handspring puppets, an animal to, to be at the centre of the action. This is a wonderful story, read it. And he read it, the next moment he rings me. And it's luck, it's, that's what it is. And the book would have died the death and it's gone on. And then suddenly, of course, you get the play and the book begins to be into people. What a good book, how wonderful. And then a man called Spielberg comes along and says, I want to make a film. And suddenly this is uh, translated into 40 languages. Well, that's not, the book hadn't changed. It was still the same rubbish as it was before, you know? Hello, Joey, will you stop? I was, I was always taught as a child to leave your hand flat for a horse. Yeah, yeah but it had to have and something in it. You're not... It should be an apple or a polo, <laughs> wouldn't absolutely, it? I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm really sorry. Absolutely. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Hello, and, Joey. And, and it's astonishing. There's three puppeteers as well in this horse. Again, I mean, you utterly sort of... You know, forget that they're there. And we were just discussing a little earlier. They have the most amazing names. The head, the heart and the hind. Yeah. So the three puppeteers. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the skill and the work that goes into this. Well, and the coordination of these three people creating horse um, is, is, is just amazing. The instinct they have to have, the work they have to put in. It's physically extraordinarily hard, intellectually and emotionally very hard as well. Because this horse is with the music and the lighting and everything else that is wonderful about horse. He's the centre of the whole thing. And they have to get that right. And the, the minute they don't, then audiences might notice it, and then, of course, you s can't suspend disbelief anymore. Do you want to do, do, do have a... Do you want to show off, Joey? Hang on a second. Go on, Michael, you show us. Joey, now, wait for me, wait for me. Are you ready? Up then, way up, Joey! Way up! <laughs> that's, not, that's not bad, we'll do it once more. Are you ready? A bit better, please. Way up, Joey! Robert, that's enough, that's enough, get down. <laughs> that's incredible. Well, Michael, that is so beautiful. Thank you so much it's for wonderful. coming well, in. He, and for he's celebrated too, which is lovely. He's, he's celebrated <laughs> twice. Yeah. Amazing Great. to see. Yeah, so Joey and the rest of the team and the crew are on stage at the War Horse UK tour. It starts in September. Tickets are available now. Michael, thank you so much. Lovely Pleasure to see you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank Pleasure you from to have Joey you. too. Yes. We'd want to thank you. <laughs> Pleasure, thank, thank you. you. It's nearly eight o'clock. We're back in just a second, but now let's get the news, the travel and the weather where you are.